Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So today we're gonna talk about how to block a volleyball for beginners. Let's get right into it. front row player, one of the most essential things that you know how to do or are gonna need to know how to do is learn how to block. Everybody on the court should know how to block fundamentally because it is such an important part of the defense. So there are three positions that really block more so than any other position. Let's talk over those positions really quickly and then let's learn how to block. Now that we know the positions to block, we wanna talk about the first steps to learning how to block. The first thing we're gonna talk about is ready position. And ready position involves your hands, arms, legs, and an athletic stance. That means that I'm not always ready like I'm gonna pass, or I'm not already extended like I'm gonna block. I just have my elbows a little bit parallel to my feet, my hands splayed wide, and they're ready. So if I need to jump up and block, I'm already here. I'm not relaxed like, oh look, there's the ball. I'm gonna jump and flail. I'm here, so that way if I need to transition, which we'll talk about in a later video, I can go ahead and transition and get ready for my block. So the first step is to have that athletic stance. What we're gonna do is we're gonna practice starting learning to block. So I'm just gonna fully extend my hands in my shoulders above me. Do you see how fully extended my hands are? Sometimes I see people get a little bit dinosaur arm and they come up here because they're a little bit slow on the block. Sometimes I see people kind of slay away a little bit. We want to straight ahead above us and then we want to have our fingers standing tall. We don't want to see fists. We don't want to see hands kind of karate chop. We don't want to see hands that are completely flat and clad claw. We want just splayed fingers wide. Our next step after keeping our fingers splayed wide is we want to press a little bit. So we don't want to block with our hands straight up because what's going to happen? Those are called weak fingers and we don't want to get injured. So we're going to press a little bit into the block. Strong fingers, we want to make sure that our hands are, we want to make sure that our fingers aren't crab claw, aren't fist, aren't chop. They're wide and they're going to press into the block. Let's take a look at this. They're pressing into the block. That way if the ball, if you have to do a joust, which we'll talk about jousting later, you could get really in there on that ball. So let's practice it. Let's start back over. Athletic stance, hands above us, press. Athletic stance, hands above us, press. The next step, we already had our arms splayed wide and then we're pressing. We're gonna jump straight up and straight down. So we wanna make sure to use our momentum to jump straight up and straight down. Let's take a look at that. Now you wanna make sure to practice not flailing and touching the net, not drifting left or right, because one of the most common things I see is people jumping and they're drifting. Make sure to keep your hands angled court, in the court. Because what happens if I block and I have my hands angled out the court, the ball's gonna go, and what's that gonna happen? It's gonna be an out. Make sure we keep our arms angled and hands angled into the court. Straight up and straight down. So let's talk about your hands one more time. Do I wanna see fist? Absolutely not. Do I wanna see karate chop? No. Do I wanna see flat, completely flat hands? No. I wanna see your hands pressed into the block press into the block. So let's talk about those first steps for blocking one more time. I'm here. I'm at an athletic stance. After my athletic stance, I'm here. I have my hands fully and my arms fully extended above me. After that, I have my hands pressing into the block. Jump straight up and straight down. Straight up and straight down. 
And this is something you can practice at home, straight up and straight down. So I'm not coming back up and I'm standing back up. I'm coming and returning back to my athletic stance. Okay, and this is how we learn how to block from an outside hitter. Before we even get into more specialized blocks, we wanna learn how to simply, basically block. So I hope that you liked this video. I hope that it taught you basically how to block. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.